Hello everyone! How are you guys? I hope that you are doing well. It's me again, your friend, Annabelle. And I'm so grateful everybody. The Lord bless everyone who watched this video. If you are new here in this channel, please like, share, and subscribe so that you will be updated when I upload videos here in my channel. Thank you so much guys. If you want to have a relationship to our almighty father that you have desire to know him more if you want to know about how to start knowing God so I will give uh, three things what we do you know for the beginning but you know guys it's so amazing when we have a deep relationship to our almighty father and God is so amazing you know especially that we want to know more about our Almighty Father and we have desire because we love God and how we start this is what I just want to share to everyone even the young people the kids or everyone how we started to do it so I share three things here first we read his word we read the Word of God because the Word of God we know about him about the character of our Almighty Father when we read about the Word of God the word is teaches us how to imitate the character of God and the word of God it gives us courage it helps us that is our armor when the time the enemy is attacking us the word of God is powerful and it helps it guide us how we live here in this world in the righteous the word of god that's the food for our soul in every day and i will give the scripture here and i will read it here guys and just want to um search it and just joshua chapter 1 verse 8 and it says here keep this book of the law always on your lips meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do everything written in it then you will be prosperous and successful so the, the word of god it helps us how we live here in this world this is our guide while we're still here in this world the word of god it helps to us every day and when we read the word of god it will be fruitful to us and it says here that we will be prosperous and successful so the word of god it's, it's everything is there you know that it give us courage it it helps us that's the food for our soul in every day so it's so important guys that we read the word of God, meditate it a day and night, and we apply that to ourselves. And the Holy Spirit guiding us, teaching us, correcting us. And it's so amazing that we have God in our life because we're safe. The more that we read the word of God, the more that we know about God and the more that we close to Him. It's amazing that we have more and more relationship to our Almighty Father. Second, prayers. Prayers is our communication to God. We surrender everything. We confess our sins. We talk to our Almighty Father. We communicate to Him. When we call Him, 
every day that's our relationships to our almighty father we have a relationship with him what is our plans we surrender it to him and everything and god will help us to establish what is our plans prayers it's so important that's our um, communications to our almighty father and i will read this in philippians chapter 4 verse 6 hold on guys i just want to um search that and it says here in philippians chapter 4 verse 6 to 7 do not be anxious about anything but in every situations by prayer and petition with thanksgiving present your request to god and the peace of god which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in christ jesus so yeah this is a word that everything we don't need to be worried if what we desire what we want in life we you know we grateful to God we called our fa our Almighty Father we pray and talk to him and yeah we if what you what you need God knows about it what you want God knows about it and God will provide our needs and God help, will help us because you are the children of God God loves you he will never leave you. He will never forsake you. No matter what is your situations in life. When in times that we made mistakes, we are all sinners. We come back to our Almighty Father and we ask forgiveness and God forgive us and we live righteous according to His will. And that's what God wants that we come back to him because you are the child of God God is waiting to his people that they're coming back to him God will forgive us when we ask forgiveness we are safe when we accept Jesus Christ as our personal Savior and God is here with you he's waiting and his people God is near to the people that who is broken. God loves you. No matter what you do, when we come back to Him and repent and ask forgiveness, God is happy that we come back to our Almighty Father and we do repent. So prayers, it's so important guys before we start our daily routine we talk to our almighty father first and that's our relationship with our almighty father talk to him first before we start our day and you know we grateful everything that what god has done for us God bless us every day God protect us every day prayer that's how we communicate to God so that's the key guys prayers and the third worship worship that is our intimate time to our Almighty Father we worship him because we are the children of God our Almighty Father is our Father in heaven that's what we can offer to our Almighty Father it's our intimate time with him and that's amazing when the times that you are struggle or in the problems you have problems come to him worship and God will comfort you we worship our Almighty Father because that's what we can offer 
because we are the children of God and he's our father in heaven I will read in here I will read this guys mm, in Isaiah 25 in Isaiah 25 1 and it says here Lord you are my God I will exalt you and praise your name for in perfect faithfulness you have done wonderful things things planned long ago we honor our Almighty Father we worship him because he's our a faithful God and God loves us God made wonderful things for us and that's what we can offer to our Almighty Father to worship him to have intimate relationship with him this is only just a short video for everyone how we start to have a relationship to our Almighty Father and this only three things that three things that I give I hope that it helps to everyone first read the Word of God read your Bible second prayer that is our communication to our Almighty Father third worship him that's our intimate relationship to our almighty father that we worship him that's what we can offer and that's the three things that's how we start i hope that it helps to um all of you guys this things that i just want to share everyone and thank you so much everybody god bless all of you guys god loves you i love you all and thank you so much everyone before i um in this video i will pray heavenly father thank you so much for for these um blessings for all your blessings that you given to us father god thanks for your words father god lord we can do nothing without you father god and i pray lord god touch our heart that we have more close to you father god that we love you more father god that we read your word father god that we um, have a deep relationship to you father god and i pray lord god to all the people that watch this video this video touch their heart father god that we have a deep relationship with you father god and help them and guide them and every day Lord God and thank you so much for everything that you've done to us and I pray Father God bless those people that watch this video provide their needs physically financially emotionally and spiritually online and thank you thank you so much Father and I pray Lord God more people coming back to you we want more desire to know you more, Father of God. Thank you, thank you so much for everything. We humble ourselves, Father, because we can do nothing without you, Father of God. We honor you, we glorify your name. And thank you so much. All glory belongs to you, Father. In the name of Jesus, amen. amen. Thank you so much everyone. God bless. Bye-bye.